Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I'm so excited for you all to come this evening. We have a wonderful adventure to take you on called Colors, We're Better Together. The story of colors created by crayons in a box. I always know that when I get a box of crayons, there is one favorite color that I like to use first, and sometimes I use it over and over, and when I'm done with the crayon box, there are several that have never been used. Well, tonight's adventure takes us to think about what the life of the unused crayon might be. So we have a wonderful cast for you this evening that I'm sure that you will enjoy. So I can't wait to present for you half of the first grade performing colors. We're better together. For the black I want to call white crayon. You probably see me cold night sky black. You have probably seen me in a fluffy cloud floating across the sky of blue. If you want to see both of us, just look at the keys on the piano or a zebra. But you'll never see us in a place like this. We never get used on coloring book jobs. We have the sharpest points in the whole box of crayons. That's because no one ever uses us. It, it's like we are the most boring clown. Clown colors in the box. I hope someday people will need us and make us feel special. Hey, listen, I can hear the rest of the crane singing now.
in the area and they've asked me to organize some pictures. So I'm going to need all of your help. I have our assignments right here. I'm going to need some purple mountain majesties. I'm going to need some yellow flowers. I'm definitely going to need an orange pumpkin. Some green leaves. I'm going to need a red heart. And I'm going to need some blue flowers. Excellent. Oh, I'm sorry, black and white crayons. I don't have an assignment for you. We're not going to need any nighttime sky or snowscapes in our pictures. I've got nothing for you. <laughs> Such fun yesterday and did a great job. I know, I only went on sign lines once all day. It's easy for you to say they used me so much as to have a headache. I know what you mean. Too many trees yesterday. I'm still tired. Me too. I feel like I didn't sleep at all. Everyone used me yesterday. I am not a morning person. It is so hard to get up out of bed. All the sunshine, do you? Yells have to be so bright. Everyone needs a little sunshine. <laughs>
mine's really hard being red. Everybody wants to use me. I know, especially when we need to color red our peppers. Some of the peppers are so bright, my head is tired of all the coloring. I love peppers, from the jalapenos to the zesty chili peppers. They make me want to go cha-cha-cha. We are used all the time. I know, Andrew, especially in the kitchen. We spice up any kinds of food. You use us to add some zest to Mexican food. Oh, Hannah's in the wall in your kitchen. You just can't help but love us. You love us even if your tongue is on fire. Nothing can compare to the red hot peppers.
can you believe that big crayon coming in here pretending to be so small? What a character! I wonder if the foreman caught him. Mr. Rose is so mad, he's a red like me! You know I can't believe how much I'm used every day. I need a break! Oh, I agree. We're definitely some of the favorite colors in the box. I know some other colors might be green with any of each. I don't know about that. I don't love that. It's just me too. And I even have our purple beauties after me. Isn't it great? We all get along so well. Oh, I'm so happy I could dance. Hey, that's a great idea. Let's get all the cramps together and do cramp crowd hoedown. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be one of them, even if they begged me. I guess not, but it will be nice if they would just ask.
Did you see the black and white crayons when we were getting ready to dance? The deal was starting left out. Once I didn't get used for one of those really big jobs, I was sad for a long time. But I told you there wasn't much to demand per, for a patch of purple pumpkins. I know, I know, but it gets so lonely when you're the only one not having any fun. That's the worst part, being alone. You start feeling like, well, maybe no one likes you. It is easy to look over someone else when you're having such a great time. If someone is having a bad day, we will just help make them feel better. Let them know they are needed and wanted. We have not been doing a good job of including everyone. Do you think it's too late to make them feel wanted? I hope not. Complementary colors. See those colors complement each other with the crayon color whirl?
Prince is great without those colors. When you think about it, it would be boring if you didn't have each other. Yeah, just because someone's different than me doesn't make me better than they are. Being different just means that we can bring the best out of each other. We've been bringing the best out of each other for years. Teamwork, that's what it's all about. If we're gonna get some sleep. How are we going to do that? You know, make it dark? Well, we could call on the black crayons to give us a nighttime sky. And call on the white crayons for some twinkling stars, too. Of course, but maybe they won't help us after the way we have treated them. We could really use your help if you don't mind. We are so sorry for the way we have acted and would love your help. We would be happy to help. Yay! It sure is nice to be needed around here.
Well, first grade, you have just now seen the highest form of a compliment that you have been given. A standing ovation, can't get any better than that, and well deserved. You did a terrific job. <clears throat> Before we leave, we have, I have a few things I need to chat with you about this evening. This is not only a beautiful musical celebration, but it's also a very artistic celebration. I'm hoping that your child brought you here early enough tonight so you could walk down the hallways and see the unbelievable creativity hanging everywhere. You know, I look at a picture of a shadow portrait or of a landscape, and I see the name underneath it, and I know, oh, that's exactly how that child's personality is. You know, to create an environment where somebody can truly give within themselves and put it on paper takes a very, very talented person. And our district is so lucky to have such the talented person here. We are so glad that she has creativity 24-7 coming from her room. Give a nice round of applause to very hardworking Mrs. Mock. <laughs> have several thank yous. The first thank you is to two former alumni of Indian Hill Primary School who watched their siblings perform this evening. And they were so kind to come and turn on the spotlights to illuminate this fabulous production that you saw. Give a nice round of applause to Sarah Zimmerman and Sophie Sawyers. Thank you, girls.
have a few more thank yous. The next thank you goes to um, a big kid at heart and an actual fabulous oversized crayon who uh, did his role trying to avoid the foreman. I don't know whether the foreman ever did catch him though, but we sure like him. He's a big crayon in the gym as well, and we all really love him. Give a nice round of applause to Mr. Majak. Well, I guess he never caught him. The second thank you goes to the person chasing him. Um, we all know Mr. Nichols as a wonderful principal that just such a great job of always making us feel successful in everything that we knew. And I don't think Mr. Nichols knew when he got hired that on his resume would be theater actor debut, which he was a terrific foreman as well. So I guess he is a foreman of sorts of our school. Give him a nice round of applause. Thank you so much, Mr. Nichols. The next four thank yous are really, really special ones. Um, to say that these ladies are colleagues is at the bottom of the list. They are dear friends of mine. I've taught with them all a long time. We chat about many things, and all of it has to do with the betterment of your child in the classroom, in the music room, in the school, everything we can do to make him or her feel so successful. It's such a privilege to play, to teach with these women because I know that the disciplines that you have in your house are right in the classroom when they walk in. The kind of standards that are set, the challenges that are given and the successes that are found from them is quite evident in the fabulous show you had this evening. I'm so glad that their flexibility and their unending ease with me trying to pull everyone together never fails and is always so supportive. I'm so glad and blessed that they're on this faculty. Please give a nice round of applause to Ms. Freebush, Mrs. Marshall, Ms. Hardesty, and Mrs. Arnold. night, they'll make one grand exit out of here back to the gym where they will all deprop with their teachers and then patiently wait for you on the line until you come get them. So I hope also too you all have a wonderful, well-deserved, joyous spring break and whatever you do, you're restful and rejuvenated for when we come back to finish the school year. Thank you so much for coming. First grade, please stand up.
Thank <laughs> you. 